Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel Pharma Digest. US FDA approved Anuvira, the first vaginal ring contraceptive that can be used for an year to prevent pregnancy. So in this video we will learn about Anuvira. Please watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe our channel Pharma Digest. The US Food and Drug Administration has approved the first vaginal ring contraceptive device that can be used for up to an entire year. The Population Council has secured approval from the US Food and Drug Administration for its Segestron Acetate and Ethanyl Estradiol Vaginal System Anvira on August 10, 2018. Anvira is a first new class of contraceptives. It's a soft, reusable, flexible silicone ring that can be inserted and removed by a woman herself. This vaginal ring placed in the vagina for three weeks and then removed for one week during which woman experiences a menstrual period. This schedule is repeated every four weeks for one year, covering 13 menstrual cycles of 28 days each. The contraceptive ring is washed and stored in compact case for the 7 days when it is not in use. Anvira does not require refrigeration prior to dispensing and can withstand storage temperature up to 30 degrees Celsius. The efficacy and safety of Anvira were studied in three open-label clinical trials with healthy women ranging from 18 to 40 years of age. Based on the results, about 2 to 4 women out of 100 women may get pregnant during the first year of their use Anvira. Anvira has not been adequately evaluated in women with a body mass index BMI greater than 29 kg per meter square. The most common side effects of Anvira are similar to those of other combined hormonal contraceptive products and include headache, nausea and vomiting, yeast infections, abdominal pain, dysmenorrhea, breast deadness, irregular bleeding, diarrhea and genital itching. Anvira carries a box warning relating to cigarette smoking and serious cardiovascular events. Women aged over 35 years who smoke should not use Anvira. Anvira is contraindicated and should not be used in women with a high risk of arterial or venous thrombotic disease, current or history of a breast cancer or other estrogen or progestin sensitive cancer, liver tumors or acute hepatitis or severe cirrhosis, undiagnosed abnormal uterine bleeding, hypersensitivity to an, any of the components of anovira and use of hepatitis C drug combinations. The FDA is requiring post-marketing studies to further evaluate the risks of venous thromboembolism and the effects of CYP3A modulating drugs and tampon use of the pharmacokinetics of anovira. The Population Council signed the license agreement with the healthcare firm Therapeutics MD for the commercial launch of Anvira in the United States. Under the agreement, the Therapeutics MD will offer the device at a significantly lower price to certain clinics that serve lower income women. Anvira is expected to be commercially available from third quarter of the next year, with a commercial launch scheduled for the fourth quarter of the next year or the first quarter of 2020. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and share this video to your friends and subscribe to Pharma Digest channel and stay tuned with us. Thank you.